dreamt about a smart garden. A garden that can water the plants by itself. A garden which can take its own care. Have you ever not grown plants just because you are working? Or because you may forget to water the plants? And it might die? But no need to fear. I have got the perfect solution for this problem. Hello everyone. Welcome to Electrolux. I am Aditya and today we will be learning to make an automatic plant watering system with Arduino. So now let's have a look at the hardware components used in this project. So we have used an Arduino Uno board, some jumper wires, male to male and female to male, 5 volt single channel relay, a moisture sensor module with a probe, a breadboard and a 5 volt submersible pump with a tube. So let's have a look at a relay. So this is how a relay looks. I am having a 5 volt single channel relay of the company Songle. So a relay is used to control any component of a higher voltage with the available voltage. So it consists of two sections, the input section and the output section. The input section is connected to the Arduino where it gets the where it gets all the DC current. The DC current is then converted into AC current so that the, compo the components are controlled. So now let's have a look at moisture sensor. So moisture sensor consists of a module and a probe. The soil moisture sensor measures the soil moisture grace to the changes in the electrical conductivity of the earth. So here we have a GIF explaining the relationship between water, the conductivity and the resistance. So when there is more water, the conductivity is more and the resistance is less. And when there is less water, the conductivity is also less and hence the resistance is more. So as you can see, the soil moisture sensor consists of six pins. So uh, two of the six pins are connected to the probe. So the remaining pins are four. So the four pins are VCC, ground, AO and DO. AO and DO are nothing but analog output and digital output. So VCC goes to five volts, ground goes to ground. AO that is analog output goes to any analog pin on the Arduino board that is A A0, A1, A2, A4, A5 and the DO goes to any digital port or any 1, 2, 3, 4 port on the Arduino board. So now let's have a look at the water pump. So the water pump is actually a submersible water pump. So when it is, when it is submersed in water, it is able to pump water. So it consists of an inlet and an outlet. Through the inlet is water is sucked and through the outlet it is pumped out through the pipe. So it consists of a red and a black pin. And so the red pin goes into the VCC and the black pin goes into the ground. So now let's see the software components. So the code is quite simple. At the start I've mentioned all the integers and in the setup pin I have mentioned that the serial should begin at 9600 baud and the relay pin is output and pin number 7 that is the digital pin of my moisture sensor is also output. The loop is quite easy that start in the start I'm telling the moisture sensor to start taking the readings and as the relay is controlling my motor so whenever moisture is not detected that is it is greater than 850 because greater the number the less the moisture so whenever the number is greater than 850 the motor should be high that is the relay pin should be on for five seconds or else the relay pin can be off so this is our automatic plant watering system here we have the submersible pump the relay the Arduino board the moisture sensor module and the probe. So I have two pots over here as you can see. One of them is watered and one of them is not. The probe is inserted in one of the pots and let's connect and upload the program and see what the results are. So I've connected and upload the program. And the program is uploaded. 
As you can see, the moisture sensor is dipped, the lights are on, that means the moisture sensor is on. The moisture sensor has detected moisture in this spot and so no water has been pumped. Let me disconnect it for some time and I'll shift the probe. I've put the probe in the second pot now and I'll move the tube. I'll again connect it. And as you can see, it is watered until the moisture sensor has detected the moisture. That means the plant has got enough water. And this is our automatic plant watering system. I hope you liked today's video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank <laughs> you.